Here's a way of thinking that you can use right now. Let's take a deep dive into design thinking. How to give users what they need. In order to bring the best solution to your end users, you need to think like them. What are they looking for in a product or service? How could you improve your service or product so that your end users get the best experience? Design thinking holds all the answers. It's a user-centric framework that works even for complex business solutions. Plus, it's really simple to implement in just five steps. The five steps of design thinking. Step one, empathize. Using empathy means working towards better understanding your customers, discovering what their desires and objectives are, and acknowledging their needs. Without understanding the problem, a solution cannot be made. Showing empathy towards your customers' concerns and initiation to resolving their issues already places you on the right track. Set aside your personal wants and needs and what you think your users would like, or what you think would be awesome for your product to have, and ask them for their point of view. Get to know your users through research and interviews and gather information to fully understand their needs and get a deep grasp of their motivation and experience. Step 2. Define. Once you've understood the problem your customers are facing, you have a solid foundation to take the next step and define the problem. You need to create a simple problem statement which will give you direction in your workflow. Make sure you look at the problem from the customer's point of view and frame it in a user-centered way. Once you define the issues your customers are facing, make sure you prioritize them. Choose your priorities by looking from your customer's point of view and pick the one that would be the most useful for them to have. Step 3. Ideate. The third step is to use everything you've got to think of as many possible solutions for the problem or issue you are trying to solve. This step requires some serious creativity and collaboration with your team. Use various ideas from different styles of thinking and document all those ideas. You need to postpone any judgment and generate broad ideas at first to be able to choose from them and pick the optimal solution. You can use brainstorming, analogies, mind mapping, reverse thinking, role playing, whichever method you want to get the creative juices flowing. Step 4. Prototype. Once you pick the idea that will suit you best, you need to apply it. This is the experimentation phase, during which the solution is turned into something tangible and tested. This will give you the opportunity to correct the flaws, identify constraints, and see if the solution can be improved or redesigned. This phase will make or break your solution, as it can be accepted or rejected. Either way, the goal of this step is to test the prototype and solution, so that you can find the most optimal one that will work for your clients. Step 5. Test. The final step is to test the prototype on the end users and see whether the final solution is acceptable to them. As you discover something new, you should go back to some of the previous steps, which is why design thinking steps are non-linear. The process of design thinking goes back and forth, and it might take a while until a solution with a desirable outcome is found. Just like in Kanban, you can always take your task a step back in order to improve it. Which reminds me, we have a video on Kanban. You can check it out on our channel. The goal of design thinking is to find the solution that will fit your end users before the product or service hits the market, ensuring a flawless user experience. Now that you know more about design thinking, let's see, how can you apply it to your own projects? The great thing about design thinking is that it is immediately applicable and it minimizes all the risks that come with innovation. If your first impulse is to jump at a problem to solve it, stop for a moment to think again. With such an approach, you are bound to make some mistakes and become a witness to failed projects. Design thinking promotes human-centered innovation, analyzes the problem from many angles before coming up with a solution, and prevents you from making slip-ups better than any other method. If you wish to provide better user performance for your customers, use design thinking and draw your inspiration from real customers. So you might want to use it to improve your current project management methodology or add it to the existing one. And if you're looking for a project management tool, don't forget to check out Active Collab. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment below to let us know if you use design thinking in your business. 
take care and see you in our next video. Bye for now. Being their needs. Think your users. Think your user censored centered from a custom. God. Ah, promotes you. Don't forget.